So as some of you are probably aware, we've had a major release and update to Exodos, and we're currently presented with Exodos 6, that's Exodos version 6. Uh, so Exodos is pretty much a PC DOS gaming preservation project and they've just decided to call it Exodos. So um, I thought to myself, let's actually download this. And it's taken me a couple of days to download it. Like I say, it's around 700 gigabyte. So to prevent anyone else from uh, downloading this to be a little bit disappointed potentially, I thought I would do it for you. So you get a little bit of a showcase and see how it's used. So what I'm gonna do, I'll leave the link in my description if you're not sure about this project, but very briefly, this is the website, so retro-exo.com, and as we can see, this is the Ultima Exodos 6 cover coming soon. Uh, but anyways, this will give you some more idea about what this project is. So as it's highlighted just there, uh, this particular pack version 6 features 7,633 DOS games. Um, massive, massive package, as we know. And by the seams of it, we're going to be using Launchbox, which I believe is included in with this download. So I'll leave the link in my description, and you can actually download a light version of this as well. Now, I've looked at the light version, and to be fair, the light version of this is pretty big in itself. So I thought I may as well just go for the main version of it, because... At the time, there didn't seem to be much of a difference in size. So I've got this ready, and from my understanding, what I'm going to do is just double left click on the dot back just here to set this up. And what I'm going to do is just press C for continue, and press any key to continue. And again, press any key to continue. And it's now extracting, so um, I think this is going to take a little bit of time. Like it says here uh, in the terminal, it's going to take less than five minutes. And here we go, so estimated time, 25 to 30 minutes. It's a big boy. So rather than making you wait around like I'm going to do now, I'm going to continue this, and I'm going to obviously speed up this part. So around two hours of using that battle where it's extracting everything, we finally come to the part where we want to select the full screen or window mode when we boot up game. So I'm going to go for full screen by pressing F. And I'm going to choose medium for 1080p. And I'm going to select yes for enable aspect correction because I don't want my games, DOS games that is, looking stretched. Blow it out your ass. And we had a nice little uh, appearance there by Duke Nukem by the sounds of it. And I'm going to create a desktop shortcut. So once this has been fully extracted, uh, this is weighing at 759 gigabytes. Okay, so once it's been extracted, this is exactly what we've downloaded. So here's the folders of the directory which it's created. And let's take a look. So if we go into Exo folder and we go into Exodos. Uh, this is all our games and there's a lot here now you can see all of these are in .zip folders so it's a great opportunity if there's particular games you want and you can't find then here is your golden opportunity to copy these games and maybe use them on something else like retrobat and if we come back out of here and we go down to manuals ms dos we got manuals in PDF format and text format. And some of these games for DOS, such as simulators, uh, it's going to require a particular key press and that type of thing. So very useful information for particular games here. Uh, let's open one up. We got Brutal Sports Football. So here we go. So we can actually access all of this through Launchbox itself once we open it up. But it's just useful to know where these are if you need these for anything else you're working on. Uh, if we go to Music, MS-DOS, we've got soundtracks pretty much for every game here, I'd imagine. So there is a lot here. And here we go. So loads of stuff here. And if we go into Images, we can then take a look at all the images which Launchbox is going to be using. 
so just far too much here uh, like i said it's for these type of reasons that this is one hefty download there is a lot of stuff here so anyways let's just open up exodos once you've extracted this uh it's going to create a desktop shortcut so let's just open So the first time you open this up, it's going to say press yes on this to prevent this little pop-up opening every time. So let's just view this now. And here we go. And we've also got a new official version of LaunchBox. Don't download this. It's potentially possible that it's going to wipe away any of the settings which is put in. So I'll delete this just as it is. So here we go. This is Exodos using LaunchBox. As you can see, there is a hell of a lot here too much i think uh, we got batman forever uh, batman and most games we click on uh, it's got videos for them soundtracks a really nice feature with the way this is set up and how launchbox uses this so if we got this little section here and just put on platform like i've done just go down to ms dos we can then take a look at all the games which comes with this package uh, another nice way of looking for things, say you're like me and you love platform games, then all we need to do is just scroll up here on this section, go to genre, like I had just a minute ago, and from here I can just simply scroll down until I come across platform. And this is going to list us all the platform games which are included. And if you're not too familiar with DOS games, Abuse is a superb game. So of course DOS games range from the 80s up until even the mid 90s and beyond. So there's a lot here. Uh, we've also got a really cool Alien Rampage game here, which I really recommend. It's a really random game that one shooting up wildlife, but um, something really fun about Alien Rampage. And I'm pretty sure that one was an exclusive uh, just for DOS owners at the time. So we've also got a lot of typical games here, which was released on multi-platforms at the time. Games like Bad Dudes, obviously this was on pretty much everything. It was an arcade game originally. So, like any platform, some games are going to look wonderful, others not so much. A Bionic Commando holds a lot of memories for uh, arcade fans back in the day. Blackform, a really interesting game. I was actually playing this one the other day on Sega 32X. So a bit of Castlevania here, and I'm pretty sure most uh, retro fans will know what Castlevania is. Catch them. I'm pretty sure this was an Amiga game as well, could be wrong. So yeah, lots of interesting eye candy here to look at. And I think it makes it even better if you're not too sure, like myself, about the DOS library of games. So it's quite a good opportunity to uh, get acquainted with DOS gaming. We've also got many Commander Keen games. Um, to my knowledge, Commander Keen, again, was exclusives for PC DOS, but I could be wrong. Mm, I think Contra is debatable if that looks any good, but uh, Contra in itself is a very famous shoot 'em up game. Uh, cool Hot Twins, this I used to play on the C64.
Uh, we got classics here, such as Cool Spot, again, another multi platform release scheme. So obviously, uh, many of you will be downloading or potentially downloading Exodus 6 for the uh, obvious games like Doom, Quake, Wolfenstein, Duke Nukem, they're all here. But there's also a lot of fans out there, are platformers just like myself. Uh, we've also got notable games on there, very popular games like Secret of Monkey Island. Now, DJ Puff was one of my favorite games I used to play on C64. So it'll be very interesting to see how this looks like on DOS. And yeah, it's just nice to see how um, some of these games I used to play as a kid that looks like on other platforms. And if we right click on these games and just drop down to media, we can take a look at the manuals from here. So we've got Elvira, the arcade game. And that's going to bring up the manual, like I was showing you just now in a directory. And obviously, if this is too big, then I'm going to just press Control in minus, and I can zoom outwards just to make it look a bit more easier to read. But like I was saying, there's particular games that you will likely need manuals for, uh, especially simulation games. So again, a couple of other classics. We got Fire and Ice here. Um, I play on Amiga, great game, never seen it on DOS before. And we got Fury of the Furies, again this was on the Amiga, I was actually only playing this one the other week, very good game that one. And let me just give you a little hint, if you want another section just here so you can see more of the games, all you need to do is just hover on this little bar just here, and if you left click, just pull that into the right and you'll get more. Uh, games up here but obviously if you do this then everything here on the right is going to be minimized so well that's entirely up to you and if we also got to image group we can change how the games look uh, now let me tell you that leaving this to boxes this is going to give you most of the artwork but if we put it to backgrounds from image group uh, you do get artwork for particular games uh, 3d boxes as you can see but i think your best option really is to leave it on boxes but if you just want to experiment it's not going to hurt it uh, for nostalgic people uh, dos owners originally then a lot of these come with actual scans of the discs and the cds roms themselves so it's a quite nice feature So screenshots under image group is another good one. Uh, we can actually take a little glimpse and how the games look themselves. Uh, Indiana Jones for Serenity looks a little bit red for some reason, but <laughs> so we also got a range by um, section just here where we can go to genre from here. And there we go. So you know, the options with Launchbox and how this is set up is just superb. And uh, some of which captures my eye right now is Jazz Jack Rabbit. Uh, exclusives for PC. I remember having a girlfriend back in the day, I must have been about 15, uh, when Jazz Jack Rabbit was fairly a new game, I'd imagine. And um, it was quite a fun game, and it's highly recommended. If we just take a look at one of these. So for fans of Super Frog in Sonic the Hedgehog, I uh, totally recommend Jazz Jack Rabbit. Super, super cool game. And got notable classics here, obviously uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, this one was most uh, famous on Nintendo NES. Uh, personally, I thought it was a great game, but it had a lot of criticism, like it still does for the toughness of it, but I think it's a great game. Uh, 
uh, Turrican 2, very popular game on old microcomputers. And we've even got Dizzy, which was obviously ported onto DOS. And yes, there was a McDonald's game, believe it or not. Uh, this is McKids or McDonald Lands. Actually, a really fun game. And something which has just captured my eye is Mr. Blobby. Now, normally, I would have just bypass that like just trash but one of my favorite youtubers that's kim justice um he actually did a video on classic british tv a little while back and he actually mentioned the mr blobby game and it actually did look like a decent platformer And Rastan, most notorious uh, Commodore 64 port, particular uh, part of the game in the Commodore 64 version of Rastan, where it was very difficult to get past a rope part of the game. And for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. i uh, got awesome Rayman just here. Shinobi, which is obviously a very big famous arcade game, which was released on multiple platforms at the day. Pretty sure I had this one on the Sega Master System years ago. Uh, again, just like the Turtles game, we got Simpsons, Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Don't think many people liked this one. I think I was one of the very few who actually thought anything of this game. We got Sleepwalker, and I'm pretty sure this one was done for charity. And we've of course got Hulk Hogan's massive failed film game, uh, Suburban Commando. I've never watched Suburban Commando, I'll be honest with you, I was never a fan of Hulk Hogan, or even wrestling really. But I do remember seeing the Suburban Commando game in Commodore Format magazine back in the day, and it actually looked like a fairly good game. So I'm going to just go up to the first person shooter genre. Most of you out there is probably more interested in old school classics such as Doom, like I was saying, and as we know, DOS gaming is most famous for FPS games. If we just scroll down, we've got the obvious games here, which was released on multiple platforms back in the day, such as one of my favorites, Alien Trilogy. So of course we got Doom here, and there are several different Doom games here to explore.
You know what I'm saying? We've got plenty of Doom games just here. You know, so let's show you how to actually play a game then. So first of all, we just need to choose a game to play. And I'm going to just go for something random for this for now. So I'm going to go for high zone, whatever this is. If I double left click on the game, you'll get a little terminal pop up for this. Uh, would you like to install the game? Just type yes or just Y, obviously. And you can actually play these in full screen mode, but for this video, I'm going to do it in windowed mode. So I'm going to choose no for this bit. And would you like to change your graphics bit where I'm going to put no again for this. And this should now boot up in window mode as we can see. So I'm going to choose sound blaster. Now for those who's into FMV games, uh, Philips CDI games, Daphne games, we got a whole category here of interactive movies and this is where you can find these. So all your popular games are here like Dragon's Lair, uh, Mad Dog McCree was obviously a famous arcade and Philips CDI game where you use a light gun, uh, Space Ace again another popular game. And for those who's interested in pinball, then we got a lot of pinball games on this build as well, which is pretty cool if you like pinball games, and I know they're fairly popular. Uh, so we got Amiga games just here, also such as Dream Pinball, or should I say games which was also on Amiga, uh, as well as Pinball Fantasies and Pinball Illusions. And as we know, plenty of flight simulators on DOS, just like they were on uh, other systems like Amiga and Atari ST, including uh, Elite 2 Frontier. And we got a whole section just here for arcade games, so some of these are going to be good. Uh, some of them is going to be pretty bad. Probably a mixed bag, just like they would have been on microcomputers of the day. So if I just go up to image group again, let's see if we can change any of these. No, so like I said, I think leaving this to boxes is probably the best option visually. And we've also got a racing and driving section just here, as you can see. So we got Mega Race, actually, this is one of my favorite games on the 3DO. So some of these games, they're not predominantly racing games such as Robocop 3, it's just got elements of uh, racing or driving in Robocop 3, but the vast majority of Robocop 3 is uh, like a really primitive first-person shooter game. We also got a kart racing section just here, so you've got BC Racers, Paddle and Pole for really old schoolers out there. And obviously role playing is a big part of MS DOS gaming and there's plenty of uh, RPGs just here, uh, including uh, the obvious Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Like I say, most of these games, if you do click on them, you will get video footage. So if a game captures your interest just by the artwork, just click on the game. And yeah, for some, you might just get screenshots. In others, you'll get some footage of gameplay. We also got another popular genre for MS-DOS gamers, which is strategy. 
Now, there was a particular game I used to play on DOS years ago, or attempted to play, but my computer at the time wasn't up for it. And the game was called Gender Wars, and I would love to uh, sort of look at that game again. And in fact, here it is. Uh, so I bought this game for PC around 1998, my first PC, which had Windows 98 on it, I think. And um, this is a game I bought. It's probably the cheapest I could find in a local game shop, which is long since gone. So it'll be interesting to see how this game should have been playing. So we got a whole section here on vertical simulation. So the original Elite just here, which goes alongside uh, its sequel, Frontier. And in fact, we got a whole simulation section just here on the site. So, yeah, plenty here as we can see. So that's it for the Exodus 6 showcase. As you can appreciate, there's a lot there. And like I've been saying, I thought I would do this just to prevent anyone from downloading this to find out that it doesn't have what you want. So I've done the gameplay in this video and that's simply the fact that I don't think people would fancy watching me play Doom when you've likely seen it over and over again over the years on YouTube. So link's going to be in my description for this. And let me just remind you that the creator of this has also got a physical copy of this apparently according to the website coming up. So head over to the website and like I said at the start, there's two versions of it, the light version and the full version. But in all fairness, if you're gonna go for the light version, you may as well just get the full version. There wasn't much difference in uh, size when you download it. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content that I release every day on my channel, Just Jamie. Also feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. TikTok, but until next time, stay retro.